And now for something completely different. The 17th, thank yeah. you. Yeah, sure. Right. Hey, I have something to show you. Please, just between you and my and okay. me. Here, can you take a second to look at this? This is what I think I've already told her about what we have on our end. Um, I and I saw this, Your Honor, and there's... Uh, and I'm getting more stuff. and more stuff as well. Yeah, so, they were the same person. And I think they said they had it down as a... It's not a first time mother, it's a son. Um, it was a custody battle. My mom is a very highly contested one. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that she is reaching out saying this. And then unless there is something else that you have substantiating this, um, Your Honor, if this is just throwing mud. As far as I'm concerned, it's a, it, they're trying to take her son out of state, which is a pretty big deal. And my only concern is that if, in fact, she is driving, um, I'm, I'm, come up, Miss Velma. Um, and I asked her who's transporting her son. It's her grandmother who is more than willing to vouch. Her grand, grandmother transports him, and so does her mother. But she has not been driving. <clears throat> you to read that letter. <laughs> <clears throat> and it is the same individual that has been I don't care. Uh, my only concern is if she's driving. So help me. I'm Yeah, they're they're doing a lot. They've also called TPS, which I haven't even had my son and they're calling cbs and telling them a lot of this is just probably with your criminal history i understand right i, I, I mean I understand. put yourselves in the shoes of someone else right would you want a baby in the custody of someone that has that kind of criminal history you know really his father has criminal history as well and i'm i, I don't i i what I'm, I'm, you're trying to justify it no, I'm, if you just can give me two seconds i've never used that against him i lost my daughter with from a different father so he doesn't know anything that i've been going through my brother killed himself in 2016 in the parking lot of the harris county sheriff's department on clay road i don't know if you heard about it or saw the news article um I, I understand that you have issues. I get it. I get it. But what I'm saying is I've never used any of that against them. I've been very amicable with them. You're, yes. you're, we're having two different conversations. We're having two different, like what I'm trying to impart to you is that you're talking about custody, right? And I am too, but I'm talking you having custody of someone. What matters is, and you know, when you're single, it's all about you, right? You can do whatever the hell you want to do. You can go you can go here, you can go there, you can stay out up three days doing whatever you want to do. When you get married, it's about your significant other, right? You always think about your significant other because that's what a marriage is, right? It's a chain link fence. And when the link is broken too much, the, the, the fence falls apart. When you have a kid, it's not about you. It's not about your significant other. It's only about the baby. Nothing else matters. And that's why two people who cannot get along, who have drug issues, have no business bringing another life because they can't even take care of themselves. And you, with the baggage that you have, while you may be a great person, there's too much drama, too much PTSD for a baby to put into the mix. Because everything that you do will impact the baby one way or the other. 
I don't care what they've done. I don't care what they're doing. I don't care how many cases. You are the one that has the baby. You need to make the sound decision. I know you don't have the baby. Lord, I'm telling you, if and you do at some point, my concern here is public safety. I don't care about your baby. I don't care about your grandmother. I don't care about your husband. I don't give a rat's ass about anything about that. But with you, DWI, DWI, FSGI, retaliation, DWI, assault of a public servant. That's why I have my eye on you. And when I have someone telling me that you're driving now, repeatedly, I have a big problem with that because I've ordered you not to drive and I had you sign an affidavit. And so help me if I find that you're driving one way or the other, I'm gonna freaking lose it. You better not be driving. I don't care what is going on in your life. I don't care who you have to pick up. Do you understand me? <clears throat> Tell me, has she done the AA and A that she was supposed to do? Yes, Your Honor. I think because there is no transportation, no driving, and she, the mother works 12 hours a day, the grandmother works, the grandfather works. She, I think you suggested her going online, which she did. I know that didn't turn out to be suitable. I told her to find something near her. She could go something in person where there is a sign sheet. Um, she actually now has a sponsor. This is the place she is me now. Uh, the sponsor name's on the back. It's the first time Rebecca. Um, Rebecca is suggesting since she's already in her um, treatments that she suggests she go once a day every day. She wanted her to go today at noon. She told her she was going to be in court. Um, but she also is willing and in agreement to go every day. She likes this person. Um, and so I think this is going to be her new place. She went to one other place as well this weekend uh, on Fry Road. Which isn't too far. There was no sign in sheet. She got somebody to sign this little paper. This is a schedule. This doesn't tell me that she's attended, though. Right. I know. Your Honor. Um, Do we have any proof that she's done anything? She went to, she got I sign. don't care about that. I told you to bring a sheet of paper signed. Did you do that? I um I got one printed out. My mom works on Saturday and Sunday from nine to nine. So do you have anything here today with proof that you've gone to any AA meetings or NA meetings? Um, you, you get these chips, and that's my sponsor. Booking your bond. She goes with you, please. I'm sorry, Joaquina. I've more than enough. I've, I've literally. That's it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what place it is because of anonymity. Mean, Give her a copy. It was insane zone. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true. It's. I mean, I'll, I'll give this to you. I, I don't yeah. know. I'm. It's, <clears throat> hey, Judge. Mm. Yeah. Um, question on Vielma. Uh, with defense, we reached an agreement of probation. Would you take that today? Yes, but I want her to go to sober court, and I'm going to make that a condition, though. But I, I'm okay with it. So, um, what we will do is we will set her up for a TRAS today. She's scheduled for May 1st on the TRAS. Great. Um, but I'm okay with it. But I 100%, she needs sober court. Yeah, I agree. I so. too. Okay. We just want to make sure because there, there wouldn't be a, a bond to revoke at that point. I don't know if we want to keep her in custody, but we can reach an agreement today. Uh, so that's why I want to make so what and I'm gonna admonish her today. Okay. Like I'm gonna let her out. Yeah. But the exact conditions that I did now will apply. And yeah. so if she fails okay. now, I'm gonna issue a warrant. And then this time I'm gonna keep her in custody until she does that. Okay. So that's it. I think Are you ready? You ready? Yes. Thank you. Hey, thank you for helping us out. I know that she's high maintenance. 
I wanted to be like this for her. I wanted to make it as a miserable ex experience so that she gets it. Unfortunately, you're in the crossfire and I'm sorry, but I have a method to the madness because I mean, when people have really, really miserable experiences here, that's when they really start to think twice. God, I really had such a bad experience. I don't want to come back. I don't know if that was this yet because we're pleading now and yeah but we'll see yeah no. but thank you and i'm sorry that you had to go through this with us Until, hey, until she gets into sober court, she will report here to us. She was not going out to the region. She will report to me here, okay? And at the first instance she stops doing, then we issue the warrant. She goes into custody and waits in there until the TRAS gets done. Um, of course. Oh. If you think that this is the easy way out, you are 100% mistaken. I told you that I was going to make it a miserable experience, and that's what I'm going to do. You will be expected to continue with what you are doing now. And at the first instance you try to toy with me, I will issue a warrant for your arrest. I'm going to put you in jail, and now you will be stuck like Chuck, because I'm going to put you in a rehab facility in the jail. It's a minimum of nine months, depending on how well you respond to treatment. And if you don't respond well, you're looking at about a year and a half in custody. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that you're not going to kill yourself. More importantly, anyone else. And if that means keeping you with me, I'm going to do it in a heartbeat. Now stand charged with driving while intoxicated. You're facing up to six months in jail and or a $2,000 fine. So what I want to do with you is Sober Court. Sober Court is a program that helps you get your life on track. And if you do well with them, they help you get a license for you to drive. But it's a program that's, that's rewards you with things, right? You're now going to be doing a, a DWI education class. You'll be doing victim impact panels. You'll be doing community service. Depending on how well you do with them, they reward you. The rewards are that they will take away your community service and they will help you get a license. In fact, they will pay for you to get a license and a occupation, which is expensive. It's not cheap, but they will reward you with these things to help you pay for these things if you do well with them. That means attending, showing up and not doing what you say you're going to do when in fact you're not doing it. You have to provide proof until we get you into sober court though you were with me and if you try to play this game with me i will put you in lockup until we get you into sober court do you understand i'm not going to play this game with you i want proof of what you're supposed to be doing as part of this agreement you will be doing a dwi repeat offender education class two victim impact panels a four-hour anger management class a TRAS, no alcohol, no drugs, guardian interlock, and random testing. You will also be doing the AA as well. Do you understand? Ms. Vielma, this is going to go on your record. It's going to be there forever. From now on, you are facing a minimum of 30 days in jail if you ever pick up another DWI. And actually, it's a second. So from now on, if you ever pick up another DWI, you'll be facing a third degree felony 
two to 10 in the penitentiary. Some people only learn by going to prison. Is that going to be you? I don't know. What matters is what are you going to be thinking in 20 years? Not now. Time heals all wounds. In five years, you're going to forget about this. How do you plead to the offense, man? You're giving up the right to a trial, right to compel witnesses to testify on your behalf, confront and cross-examine your accusers. If you're not a citizen, there are possible immigration consequences. You can be deported, excluded from the country, denied naturalization under federal law. You give up the right to appeal. You know, I, I was telling Ms. Rodriguez here that the idea is to make your experience so miserable that you think twice. I don't know if we're here. Yeah, I don't know if we're there yet here with you. Only time will tell. You can shed as many tears as you want. But the real test is what are you going to be doing when you're faced with the dilemma, when you're out there at a bar? Are you going to get in a car again, even if it's 15 years away? Um, how do you plead to the offense, man? I will find you guilty. I will follow the agreement. Um, so I still want her coming here with us, proving to us that she's doing AA, taking a drug test three times a week. And then the drug test will continue. Um, did you get a date for sober for the TRAS? Uh, yes, it's the 19th. Oh, three days? Oh, wonderful. Great. So this is great because that way we can get you in and expedite you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you so much. We're good. Yes, yes, of course.